Oh, thanks a lot, Mark. This cold weather is going to be sticking around for some time to come. And what we're looking at is melting during the day and then refreezing at night. And today it was a snowfall record just for today. We've seen more snow than this at GSP and Asheville before. But for this date, it is a record. New record, 6.1. The old record was 5.7 in 1965 at GSP. And in Asheville, your new record, 10 inches today. The old record was 7 inches back in 1890. And it looks like Polk County so far is the winner as far as snowfall totals. Flat Rock, 15 and a half inches of snow, and I'm sure we'll see higher totals than that. Waynesville has seen over a foot. Brevard, about 11 inches with boiling springs, eight and a half, a half a foot into Asheville and GSP. Malden, you saw five inches. Simpsonville, around five. I measured four and a half inches of snow and sleet about an hour and a half ago, and it looks like the snow is pretty much done. And found in and Pels are even about four inches of snow, but things are quieting down. Still a lot of clouds out there and the roads are snow covered. Here's the interstate. You can see some of the crews there on the Gateway Project uh, getting the roads cleared out. So make sure you give the crews plenty of space to do their job to salt and plow as we go through tonight and tomorrow morning. And it is cold. 30 in Greenville. Lawrence at 30. Anderson 30. Brevard 26. Asheville 25 and Henderson 25. So anything that was slush is now rock hard and we're looking at strong winds picking up again as we go through the overnight. They were blowing out of the northeast earlier. Now they're picking up out of the west behind that area of low pressure. Pretty weak now, but they're going to start to get gusty tonight. Gusting maybe 20 to 25 miles per hour as we head towards tomorrow morning. Look at that. Maybe gusting to 32 in Greenwood. So with temperatures into the 20s coupled with these gusty winds into Monday, we're talking about wind chill values into the teens. So it's going to be blustery and cold while you're chipping out of your car with the ice and snow as we go into your Monday. Still pretty breezy throughout the day. We're finally seeing this system getting out of here. It's starting to move out the upper level low, moving into North Carolina, leaving just some scattered snow showers now across the upstate. This is a four hour loop and you can see how the snow showers have really wound down over the last several hours and still a few showers across Greenville and more of that snow into the mountains. But Asheville, the snow is done for you, but still snowing over some of the higher peaks from Tennessee. It's North Carolina as this big storm is moving up the East Coast, seeing a lot of snow in the Northeast and a lot of heavy rain up and down the West. Uh, uh, up down the east coast, I should say. As far as our winter storm warning, we still have that going from I-85 to the north. That's mainly for black ice, okay? The falling snow has ended for the most part, still seeing some lingering snow across the higher terrain, and that's going to continue into Monday as we start to clear things out, and the sun is going to work its magic. It's going to melt off the snow across much of the upstate, but still a lot of those shady spots are still going to be pretty icy, and we're looking at refreeze again tomorrow night and then more melting into Tuesday with sunshine. As you move into Wednesday, you can see the clouds increasing. Here's our next system bringing rain and maybe also a few snow showers as we go into Thursday morning for the mountains. Nothing that is going to be powerful. Now, earlier, the European model was thinking we might see a bigger system over the top of us on Friday, but now it's pushing rain and snow farther to the east. We'll have to see in the next few model runs if it comes around again and wants to give us more snow by the end of the week. But for the upcoming weekend, we are looking at... Uh, clear conditions and for your wake up weather tomorrow, it's going to be cold teens and 20s. Sun is up at 736. Give it some time to melt things off tonight. 25 gradual clearing for the mountains. 20 degrees, but look at that wind gusting to 30 miles per hour. MLK day 34 for the mountains. 42 Tuesday showers Wednesday. We have that chance of showers and maybe some snow showers Friday. We'll have to see how the models come around on that. And for the upstate, we're looking at 42 tomorrow, 44 on Tuesday, shower chances Wednesday, and then again on Friday, a chance of some rain and snow and 38 degrees.